That's all good. It's all good, man. It's I will say I, I'm definitely happy that he is not here. That's as a union, <laughs> definitely happy that he's not here. Um, it, it it's it's gonna be interesting with this attack here for NYCFC. And like uh, your MO still is, you know, it doesn't matter who the manager is. Um, you're gonna possess the ball, and and you guys are gonna attack with the ball at your feet, and that that's that's pretty much how NYC has always always been. It's concerning because. Uh, Jack Elliott got uh, two uh, yellow card accumulation, so he's suspended for his NYCFC match. So we're going to be playing a fullback at center back. It's going to be Glasses and it's going to oh, be Harriel, sure. which I, if I'm not mistaken, oh no, Harriel and the 21 Eastern Conference final played on the left hand side. That was really the first time mm -hmm. he was all out of position, but he's our best 1v1 defender. So that's probably what we're, we're going to see here for the attack. So I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned <laughs> about that factor there. Going, going right at Harry on this matchup here. With your, yeah, we your have um, with the, we have basically like a double 10 going on because now we have Maxi Morales who's back and Santi Rodriguez. And Santi Rodriguez has kind of taken over that 10 role since Maxi's been out because he got injured last year and it kind of overlapped into this year. Uh, so they're an interesting thing because they kind of overlap each other, play off each other, and it's really dynamic at times. And it, it could be very dangerous, those two on the pitch at the same at the same time. The only thing is Maxi Morales is 37 years old at this point. So it's like, Nick likes to press, and uh, sometimes Maxi can't go a full 90. So it's like you have to either choose, do you want Max to be a super sub, come in in the middle of the game and be dynamic, or do you want him to start off and you start off strong and bring all your offense forward in the beginning of the game? That's going to be interesting to see. Uh, let's move to the back line there. Uh, it gone into the days of Chanel and Collins there, and uh, I saw that you guys have now allowed uh, the 12th most goals in the MLS. Not terrible. Uh, but how's the back line been faring this season for NYCFC? The back line's been interesting. We've been played by injuries. That's been kind of our issue. Uh, so Risa and um, Tiago Martins have been our steady center backs, and they've been kind of locking it down. Risa actually just got injured against DC United. Uh, he was he was supposed to start in the five minutes before the game. He said, I got a knock. I can't play. So it would be interesting to see if he ends up starting this game. Uh, we would hopefully need it because Tana, he's new to the team. Uh, he has times where he's great. He has times where he's terrible. <laughs> um, and he will draw a quick yellow card. So be ready for that foul because he is going to foul the hell out of someone. <laughs> and then at left back, we have, um, it's been interesting. We have a young kid in Christian McFarland. He's actually been an interest by the city group, like, overseas uh very young and sometimes he's very dynamic offensively but sometimes he could be a liability defensively uh so him and kevin tool will go back and back but i can see mcfarland starting because kevin o'toole started on saturday with the short okay. turnaround week i see that happening and then tavon gray on the right hand side dynamic he's he's having he's actually leading our team with assists which that was kind of his downfall he was always horribly offensively but a great defender and he's wow. kind of switch on that which is crazy to see yeah, that's definitely something you want to see there. That's that's interesting. All right, I'll keep an I'll keep an eye out for that. But I mean, obviously, look, the big part of your defense is the one player I really missed. So we could really use right now here in Philly, <laughs> Matty Freeze. Oh, no, Listen, I cannot man. believe you guys let that guy go. He is so good, dude. <laughs> dude, and the thing is, is that look, you know, Andre is always getting called up by Jamaica, right? Yeah. And now he's getting older. So now the fact is he's missing games. He's more than likely, Jim says day to day, I don't think he plays tomorrow, uh, especially at a Yankee Stadium. Uh, and so since he's since Freeze has been gone, we've relied on Joe Bendick, which you know, not a good option. <laughs> uh, we signed uh, this kid from Louisville, Louisville City, uh, who had a great year last year in Oliver Zemla. Very, still pretty young. Uh, we rushed him in there, and I, and looks like right now his confidence is shot, mm. uh, and unfortunately he, he's unplayable at this level. Andrew Rick, a young goalkeeper from our homegrown system, he's our uh, Union two starting goalie, and another one. He's just too young, and it's funny because Andre's missed a lot of matches, and in those matches you really and like we've always appreciated Andre, but you really appreciate Andre when you see saw, when you saw some of these goals. Like the Cincinnati match or mid in in July, where yeah. Ori, I'm sure you saw the goal. Oriano yeah. midfield just chips it on Oliver Zemla, and it's like that's crazy. Andre, Andre Blake does not allow that to happen, so it's like a huge factor. And I see what Matty Freeze does, and like I knew this, like I knew Matty Freeze could start for the majority of these clubs here in the MLS, and he needed his time. And obviously, Andre Blake was, and as we just extended Andre this 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 year, 
I just knew for Matty Freeze it was not going to happen here in Philadelphia. But man, I miss him, dude. He's he's, dude. he's grown he's grown even more now too. Yeah, he's developed to a player that it's insane just to see his growth. It's it's really crazy. And the crazy thing is, we kind of were in the same situation. We had Sean Johnson for so long, and then we thought, oh, Barraza is going to be the guy. We bring in Matt Ice to have competition with Barraza. But Barraza started when Sean Johnson originally left, but then Matt Ice just became the clear favorite, and it was so crazy. I actually. Uh, Barasa got the start for League's Cup. And in the beginning of League's Cup, he said, I'm going to get the start for the rest of the League's Cup. That's what the coach told me. Then we start winning, and then he puts it Matt Freeze wide away. <laughs> we get further in the tournament. He's like, Matt Freeze has got to come. We actually lost to Cincinnati. We like melted down on them. And then he, that's when Barasa was that goalkeeper, and they had to put Matt Freeze the next game. I was like, no, we got to get him in. But kind of the same thing that I was going for, like Nick Cushing with young guys. When you do something like that, they lose some of their confidence, which is kind of a bad thing. And that's where I get reservations about, like, uh, did he talk to him about changing him again? Like, that's an interesting dynamic, which I would want to know more about. Mm -hmm.